Hello, today I will be showing you how to use and customize your 3D TV Motion Master templates. So first thing we need to do is uh, add the Motion Master template to your sequence. So just go to Sequence, Add Master Template. Uh, there are many different ways to uh, add a Motion Master template. This is the way I like, but there are four different ways on how to do it. Okay you find your motion master templates category you choose 3d tv this gives you a quick time preview and it is in standard def that is how the preview is made but uh, the actual file is in hd 1920 by 1080 and the frame rate is 30 frames per second and the duration is 30 seconds so we will insert this into our timeline once it is dropped in our timeline, all we need to do now is drop some video into the drop zones. So I have some material here provided by Jolly Roger Images in Hollywood, Florida. And all I need to do is select a video clip or a photograph and drop it into the drop zone. And then we can do a quick little scrub and see how it looks. If you would like to change the background color, all we need to do is right mouse click, open copy and editor. If you do open and editor, it will change the original template you downloaded and anywhere else you might have used that template on other Final Cut projects as well. So what, I, what I'd like to do is do uh, open copy and editor. <clears throat> and just uh, change this 3D TV copy and just replace the copy with whatever uh, name you want for your new Motion Master template. I will call it Orange. Okay, and all you have to hit is Save. This will open Motion automatically for you to be able to customize your template. Okay, once Motion opens, you will find your Motion Master template uh, ready to go. So all we will do now is click on Project, on the uh, Project pane icon. We will click on background adjust. This will adjust your background color. And click on the layer called background color adjust. Inside of there you click on shape. Inside of your inspector tab, shape. And then just click on fill color and customize. So I wanted to use like a, an orangey color just for demonstration purposes. Once you find a color that you like, then just close here and just uh, you can close this here just to make it look nice. And also if you want to remove the reflection or if you want to adjust it, I added a reflection as, these, uh, as this animation turns around, you'll see a reflection coming through over your drop zone just to give a little sense of uh, realism. If you want to take that off, all you need to do is uh, click on a glass reflection and just mute it. Can you can see the reflection there as I turn it on and off. And you can also go in there inside of your layer under properties and just adjust the opacity if you want to make it a little bit more subtle or if you want to make it stronger. So this is just a reflection wipe of one of the lights that I added for the light reflection on the television screen. So I'll bring that back down to about 17. About 30. And I close this up. And also if you want to remove the drop shadow that, that comes underneath, you see it right here, all you need to do is toggle off the drop shadow layer and it is gone so the choice is yours I will click that on because I like it and close all my layers and all I need to do is hit save when you save motion will create a quick time preview for you to use inside of Final Cut Studios motion template browser or inside of motions template browser so just wait for this to render and this will also update 
the template that you are making changes to inside of Final Cut Studio. Now when you come back into Final Cut, all you need to do is one final render and just play back. <laughs> 